Hello and welcome. In this video, we will look at net changes to central bank gold positions over the last 12 years. Before the financial crisis began last decade, central banks were feeling pretty safe with the European off to what seemed like a good start and trade cooperation among nations increasing. After the central bank gold agreement was signed in 1999, central banks became heavy net gold sellers. That changed when the financial crisis hit. Central banks stopped selling, and some began to add to their gold holdings, causing the aggregate central bank changes to go from heavy net selling to heavy net buying. Let's look at which central banks were the largest sellers and the largest buyers over the last 12 years. This data comes from the IMF through the World Gold Council. The data breakdown begins in 2002. From 2002 through the first part of 2009, central banks, mostly in the European area, were heavy gold sellers. The largest sellers in order were Switzerland, selling about 1,130 tons between 2002 and 2008, France selling about 560 tons from 2004 through 2009, the Netherlands selling about 350 tons from 2003 through 2008, Portugal selling about 230 tons from 2002 through 2006, Spain selling about 215 tons from 2005 through 2007, and the ECB selling a little over 200 tons also from 2005 through 2007. Until 2008, there was very little gold buying by central banks. The only significant purchases were, in December of 2002, China announced a purchase of 99.5 metric tons adding to the reserves. During 2002 to 2004, Argentina was a fairly large net buyer, buying a total of over 50 tons. And in the last half of 2006, Russia began to add to its gold position and has been a net buyer of gold almost every month since. In 2008, there was an obvious shift. There were only two large sellers that year, France and Switzerland, and Russia was the only reported large buyer that year, buying about 60 tons. What was not reported until two years later was that Saudi Arabia more than doubled its gold holdings in quarter one 2008, adding 180 tons. In 2009, the only large seller was France, but even that was a significant reduction from their previous sales, and since 2009 there has hardly been any selling of gold by central banks. The big news was that in April of 2009, China announced that they had added 454 tons to the reserves over the previous six years. This is their last official addition to China's gold reserves, but there is evidence that China Central Bank has been adding to their gold position and not reporting it. There will be a separate video on this subject. Following the China announcement in April, that November India bought 200 tons from the IMF, which is the only reported change in India's gold holdings. In addition, Russia significantly continued purchasing gold, heavily increasing its purchasing in the second part of 2009. During the second half of 2009, Russia bought almost 100 tons. In 2010, Russia heavily added to their gold position, buying about 140 tons that year. In addition, that June, Saudi Arabia announced the gold addition in 2008 mentioned earlier. In 2011, Mexico added close to 100 tons. Russia added about another 95 tons, a lower amount than the previous two years. Korea added 40 tons. Thailand added about 25 tons. In 2011, Libya sold about 40 tons total, which is one of the only significant gold sales from central banks since 2009. In addition, Turkey's gold holdings increased by about 79 tons from a policy change to accept gold as reserves from commercial banks. In 2012, Turkey's holdings increased again by over 160 tons due to their changes in accepting gold as reserves from commercial banks. Russia added another 75 tons total for the year, making it the lowest increase since 2008. In the second half of 2012, Brazil made three purchases totaling about 33 tons, which was Brazil's only reported change during the entire 12 years. Also in the second half of 2012, Korea made two purchases of 30 tons total. In 2013, central bank gold transactions significantly declined. Turkey's holdings again increased by almost 160 tons due to their changes in accepting gold as reserves from commercial banks. 
In 2013, Russia added about 77 tons, a slight increase over the previous year, and Korea bought about 20 tons in February. There were no significant sales or other significant purchases that year. So far in 2014, Russia has added about another 70 tons. Ecuador's holdings declined by about 14 tons due to a two-year swap deal with Goldman Sachs. Plus, Iraq announced an increase in holdings of about 48 tons that was previously purchased. Let's look at the largest buyers. The largest buyer has been Russia, buying well over 700 tons since second quarter 2008. Next is China, with stated purchases of 99.5 tons in 2002 and 454 tons obtained from 2003 through 2009, plus probably additional purchases we will discuss in another video. In addition, Turkey increased about 400 tons because of commercial bank reserves. India made a one-time purchase of 200 tons from the IMF in November of 2009. In 2010, Saudi Arabia announced that it had bought 180 tons in the first quarter of 2008. Mexico bought close to 120 tons. Of that, about 100 tons were bought in 2011. Korea bought 90 tons from 2011 through 2013. Thailand bought a little under 70 tons in 2010 and 2011. And Iraq bought about 60 tons total in the last half of 2013 and the first half of 2014. With the creation of the European Union, trade opening up, and a new sense of cooperation among countries, central banks began selling gold in the first part of the century. When the financial crisis hit, there was a change and central banks went from heavy net sellers to heavy net buyers of gold. With all the talk of so-called global recovery, there seems to be no indication from central banks that they intend to sell off gold again. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.